שלום, פורסם פה משהו להגיד לכם בואו פריז, זה יהיה האווה, השם, 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 I'm Brother Barak, Brother Yahawada, and Brother Makaza, right? We're just bringing forth some end time prophecies. Uh, somebody can talk about Matthew 24, verse 7, Babu Gosha. I read it. All right. I read it. Uh, this is Matthew 24, verse 7, is it? Yeah, I can. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 24. Yeah, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. Uh, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places and there shall be famine, famine pestilence and earthquake in diverse places right so when you think I want to, to um, bring forth in that scripture right to draw out on that scripture is I would diverse Right? One of the meanings for the diverse was what? Um, the word there was what? Kata? Strong's G, 2596. Kata. Kata. Right? One of the meanings for the words diverse was what? Daily. Daily, right? So it says like, famine, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. And one of the examples, of, for example, Matthew 24, Mark 14 and 9, 14 and 49, I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and he took me not, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. Right? Matthew 26 and 55, in the same hour, said, Yeah, I was shy to the multitude, he come out as against a thief with swords and stars for, for to take me. I sat daily with you teaching in the temple and he laid not he laid no hold on me. Right? So daily you get the idea that there's a um, day after day. Right? As you understand that we have one of the meaning of the word diverse. So we had a series of events that happened in Trinidad and Venezuela that has been um, Trinidad has been highlighted and Venezuela has not been highlighted, right? And the key, the key to the truly spirit, because it wasn't, it was, this, this, this was inspired by the spirit, the spirit that gave the observation, right? That uh, around the 16th and, or the 16th, 17th of last, of October, last month, or sorry, this month, last week, Venezuela dropped the US dollar, right? And we'll use no, and we'll use the euro for international transaction. Right? So I'll just read a little bit into the article. Bridging, you can um, Akil, you can um, stop me and bring forth the precepts and the arguments at any point in time. It says, Venezuela is abandoning the US dollar with all future transactions on the Venezuelan exchange market to be made in euro. Tarek El Asami, the country's vice president, for e economy announced, right? So the, this is what happened last week. They they they, they, um, they actually dropped it down and they went to the euro, right? And this is what started to happen. Through the spirit, brother Makaza, he um he let us start video. And this was a video, right? Through the spirit, you know. I mean, you can speak on it, um, Makaza. You can speak on the um. Yeah, well, you know, um, I believe it was like a couple of months back, the first video I saw, um, a guy did a video and he was talking about the oil that was in the Caribbean. And he said that, you know, it wouldn't be a surprise if America start focusing their attention on the Caribbean. All right. 
and a little while after that, you start to see videos, you know, with this thing that um, it have U.S. navies in the Caribbean, and more and more they, they keep coming out. They show you that it have U.S. navies in the Caribbean, but the majority of them they they fluctuate around Venezuela, you know. And now all of a sudden, as these as these ships start circulating around Venezuela, Venezuela drops the dollar, then boom. All these disasters happen, but as the brother said, Trinidad has been highlighted on the media and not Venezuela. When the truth and fact is Venezuela has been hit probably 40 times worse than we did. So if anybody was supposed to be on the news, was supposed to be Venezuela, not us. Uh. Because the water that we got was a puddle compared to Venezuela. Right, but the thing is, is because why the the it it, it even um it, when you're looking into the trend that news, I believe this they post an article yesterday that they wanted to start to do investigation on the unprecedented flood. All right, because I mean it it was just like all of a sudden the same thing with the I believe it was Hurricane Michael. Might have the wrong name, I'm not sure. The one that hit America just the other day, and it, and it and it only affected a short radius, a small radius. Uh. All right, to show that it was it was it was weaponized. The hurricane was weaponized. Uh. And it's the same thing happening here in Venezuela. All right, but we so close to Venezuela, we getting hit too. But the the reason they hit in Venezuela is because Venezuela dropped the dollar. The same thing with with that happened, I believe, it was two years ago with China, when China um, devalued the yuan. I think they, they devalued the yuan by eight percent, and it affected America's economy. And then, boom! Shortly after, China was hit with two missiles, but they tried to block it from off the media. Yeah. All right. I have a precept here I want to bring. Mm-hmm. This is Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage over us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we're not ignorant of the things that the so-called white man is going to use, because guess what? He's been doing these things for years. Hey, America is the only country that will kill their own people and blame it on another, on another nation or another country. All right? That is the devil for you. Now, when you look yeah. up the word... When you look up the word devices, right? The second definition for the word device is an evil purpose. So, purposes. Uh. All right? In world domination, he will, he will do anything to dominate the world. Killing mass genocide, all right? And that is an evil purpose. So we're not ignorant of those evil purposes because we, as the scriptures say, so we, we know who the devil is. And yeah. as the brother brother said, we exposing this devil. Yeah. Um, I just want to a point that they say because they say um, they they so wicked that they will, they will kill the own and blame another. Let's yeah. have Luke chapter two verse four. Be- behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. Right. And who soul is speaking about? Is speaking about Esau. Right. These devils. But the just shall live by faith. It says, yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keep it home, who enlarged his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathered unto him all nations, and keep it unto him all people. So that goes into his actions, you know, because I like to say this is an identification time, rule call. You see who is this devil on the, on the planet Earth right now. You know, and, and as, as they say in Job 9.24, if not, where and who? Where and who is he? World. And each has... Oh, so like here, right? Man. So this brother here was 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 one of the first videos that he sent. Well, well, it was actually the second video that he sent, and he is actually going into it, right? Florida Marquis. Wait, this, these dots represent what? The, all the ships in the world, right? Well, all the ships that the satellites pick up, right? They have um, two tracking. 
two types of tracking devices, mm. one being GPS and the next one being AI. I think, um, automatic something, but I'll go, I'll go to the article. There's an article I have here which brings it out, right? And what they have done, the, the, U, the American Navy or the U.S. Navy has gathered themselves in, in a, in a, in, in, in Grenada or around Grenada, right? Let me see if this is the article right here. Yeah. Uh, I'll come back to this one. Right. Oh, there was another. Th there was another. Uh, there was another thing I wanted to highlight too because uh, you said that uh, you're, you're speaking about these nations. They know in for a while that America, right, have the ability or the capability to what to control the weather. So I'll just bring out this video real quick. This is um former president of Venezuela, Hugo Chavez. He was speaking about it concerning the Haiti earthquake and, and actually exposing the devil. Right? So I'll, I'll bring this out first. And Venezuelan leader Hugo Chavez has once again accused the United States of playing God. But this time it's Haiti to So like you all hear any audio? Fine. Fine. All right. This earthquake that he thinks the U.S. was behind. Spanish newspaper ABC quotes Chavez as saying that the U.S. Navy launched a weapon capable of inducing a powerful earthquake off the shore of Haiti. Yet, that this time, and the funny target is destroying and taking over Iran. The existence of a tectonic weapon has never been proved, but its use is often suspected by conspiracy theorists. For example, the leader of Georgia's Green Party accused Russia being behind an earthquake on Georgian territory in 2002. Right. So this is not a conspiracy theory because it can't be conspiracy if it's phenomenal. And the word yeah. phenomenal means factual. Right? It says, um, it says, um, today is what, the 27th? Yeah. This is, this is, um, the date of October the 25th, natural disaster monitoring. Right? Severe weather. On the 24th of October 2018, the Mexico Ministry of the Interior of, in, of Interior declared a state of emergency for the states of Esconip, Apa de Hidalgo, Sinola, and Narit due to damage caused by tropical cyclone Willa, right? Heavy rains and flood generated by Willa caused an overflow of the Juanita River, um, the Tecula Municipality and San Pedro River, right? Now jumping on to, was, um, to where is it, Venezuela. On the 25th of October, 2018, media reported heavy rain and floods in Gran Caracas, Venezuela affecting 100 homes in several towns in, in, in what? Chicuri, and overflowing of the Guayer River affected 1,699 people. And 16 bridges were damaged overall. 53 River overflows um, occurred and 11 fatalities were registered. The report is available in Spanish at Ultimas no, no, notisic, Excuse my Spanish, I'm not good. Right? Um, Let me see if I have a next article here. A quick piece of left here. Go ahead. The, the video with, uh, with, with uh, Hugo Chavez. Yeah, this is second, uh, second Thessalonians 2 and 4, who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called God. He said, or that is worship. So that he, as God, sitting in the temple of God, showed himself that he is God. And that's why you wish I was saying, you know, so God, white man, playing that he's God. But basically, the most I use it, it's so, using it, so God, white man, to do this destruction. Done. Done. Yeah, that's right. That's right. There's, um, 
rumors fly of U.S. naval buildup off the coast of Venezuela. And this was October the 8th, 2018. All right. So before I continue, I'm going to bring this precept. This is Sirach chapter 5, verse 15. It says, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. So be not ignorant or without knowledge. Mark is about it out in Corinthians that um, we are wise to the wild of the devil. Right? right. The devil being the deceiver, the so-called white man. Right? If a couple of years back, Hugo Chavez talking about the naval weapon that could um, cause earthquakes. Right? I was trying to find... um. I was trying to find I remember an article, but I don't know. Because plenty of these things is so removing them off of the internet. I had an article bookmarked from years back, right? Where the, I think it was Hurricane Sandy. And these nations were coming together to help the the the, the, the afflicted in because I think it was like New Jersey was was greatly hit in the, um America and um these the, the other countries that the world was coming together to help. And to assist, and Putin, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, said, "What? I'm not going to assist in something that America created and and, and, and used against their own people." And in that article, it was an RT article, if I'm not mistaken. In that article, there was a video where they showed that they had a a, a rain a rain maker or cloud maker machine, and in the video they showed it, they started it up and it, it created it generated clouds. And I, I don't recall them. I don't recall the clouds. I'm sure and don't rain, but it, 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 it made some big human. The clouds eventually made um were formed into a human human or limbus cloud, like the big big rain cloud, the big giant clouds as the, like big pillows, right? Yeah, the tall one. Yeah. So they made they made those clouds, but. Um, no matter how hard I search to get back and I'm not find it on my bookmarks, most likely it's so removed it off the internet, right? So coming back to this article, it says, uh, uh, rumors fly of the U.S. neighbor build up off of the coast of Venezuela, right? So this here, if you could see, well, where the mouse is pointing at is um, where it says marine tracker. This here is a group of ships of the U.S. Navy, right? From the U.S. Navy, so they are they what on the coast of Grenada, around Saint Vincent. Now this video that Marcus came across here, this brother is actually breaking it down, right? When he's going into the, what the uh, the satellite imagery, right? It will take too long for me to um, play it, right? But this this is by uh, Florida Marquis, right? Florida Marquis. So brothers who are interested, they can go into it and check it out. Right, he actually will break it down and show what it did because they could turn they could turn off their two tracking devices, one being the GPS and the next one being the AIS. Right? And they were going into it and um they were they switching off one of the devices so that it can be tracked and they bunch the ships together so it look like one. So within different zooms, you will see like one image. But really, actually, it's a group of, of, of naval fleet, right? So as I said, this, this article was on uh, the 8th of October. It reads, St. George's Grenada, according to the YouTube video, an American fleet is advancing towards Venezuela. And at this moment, it's parked off the coast of the island of Grenada. However, locals who frequently travel through the area, from fisher folk, persons that use small aircraft, to officials with regional carrier liat, I have not seen or confirmed anything that the video in question suggests might be taking place. The 12 minute video posted over three days is, is going viral as it shows a marine vessel tracker, marine traffic, using the filter features to claim that the ships highlighted in the gray must be naval warships because they are unspecified and have no distinguishing features that show up on radar. It says, however, a closer examination of the marine traffic, in particular, in particularly area around Grenada and Venezuela, shows that some of the ships in Gray that are supposedly unspecified actually appear to be an assortment of pleasure craft, small trading vessels, and other unregistered craft, as small fishing boats and skips. Right? So they're going to misappropriate 
misinformation to throw you off. This is Esau. This is easy receiver. Right? You can't believe anything that he said. Right? But again, everything here happened through the spirit. Right? A different observation and, and you know, as brother um, as brother Daniel loves to say, you know how to connect the dots, right? Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, so, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I sent, I sent a video for you. I'm not sure if that is the one you're looking for. I found. I, I actually have it here. Is this one on the screen? No, the video. The video that I was looking for with the clouds. Oh, uh, give, me, give me a limb. All right. You could check it. You could check it on um on your phone. I sent it for you on your phone. Yeah. I don't, I'm not yeah, sure that yeah. the video you was looking for. I'll bring it up. All right, thanks. Right, um, yeah, yeah, can, can, As, yeah. Um, anybody have a precept in the mean, in the meanwhile? Um, uh, we got this, yeah. This, this, yeah, because we know we had great flood, we had a great flood where, um, central, actually, we had flood where, in Trinidad, where central, north central, and then eventually Western that was was flooded out. Right? Unconfirmed deaths, our government is saying. Our, our, our Prime Minister was refused to take regional health. Right? And he actually if you watch his demeanor, as I, as I, as I read in the scripture before, uh Sarah chapter five verse fifteen, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. Now remember yeah. America and China have a great alliance. We have an embassy, but we have a strong alliance. And he was quite calm and collective. And, and um, in fact, even in my opinion, he's a, a proud and arrogant man, right? Because if your people are affected, why not take all the help that you can get? But one, um, uh, after the, the apostles, you use a, a term. I think it, I think they call it smoking mirrors. But one of the things that a trainer is really being publicized, or the floods in China, we have Nicki Minaj. And um, Pian Lions, they on, on Instagram, and it's been, it's been publicized about the floods here, right? But there was, there was, there was, the flood in Venezuela was actually more catastrophic than what we see in, in Trinidad, Sorry. right? So I'll just play this app, you just tell me when you're ready, I'll play this for a little bit, and uh, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll uh, hear your precept while I load up your other videos. This is in Venezuela, by the way. Right, look, you see people being washed away, sucked away in the flood. Right, this is a five minute long video, so I can't go through the whole video. I'll have a piece of this, yeah. Right, huh. Yeah, because as I said, nothing, nothing like that happened here in Trinidad. There is Jeremiah chapter 47, verse 2. It says, Thus saith Yabashem Yahashai, Behold, waters rise up out of the north, and shall be an overflowing flood, and shall overflow the land, and all that is therein, the city and them that dwell there. Then the men shall cry, and all the sons of the land shall howl. And guess what, the Lord really is Esau sinner, but the Mosai is the one who basically given him the order because Ephraim which is the northern tribe, all right? These Australians, they live from the northern tribe, and they 
they sin against the most high, they, they worship in idols, right? And the most high send in judgment on them. Yeah. All right? The most high send in their judgment. All right? That is why I yeah. see the majority that have an inflation wherever the case is these Spanish countries, these so called Spanish speaking countries, there is where the northern tribe dwell in. All right? And the most high yeah. send in their judgment on them. That's that. But, yeah. But the main reason it happening because Esau want to get the, the, the resources of that country. That's where he going. So now, what he will do is like a facade. What he doing? He's sending his troops out there and causing the disasters all up KO. Oh. So he will... I don't know whoever watched this movie, um, Colony. Not a movie, a series. Colony. What happened... Um, I believe, you know, like it had like insurrection where the cases, the whole system was overturned, and then the military came in and said that you know they're gonna bring back peace. They're gonna bring back peace wherever the case is, but the peace that they brought back it was martial law. All right, the peace that they brought was martial law. So you know, I believe the reason that. U.S. Navy off the coast of Venezuela is so that while all these disasters happening and Venezuela, they already, you know, people are already over there suffering because of lack of food. All right, they're going to increase the heat more so that when Venezuela in that needy state, they will come in as though they're they coming in to help the country, but really is to overtake it. Right, and I believe that is the, that is the plans of the so called white man, that is the plans of the devil that the scripture speaks yeah. about. Yeah, because the, 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 the scripture says it, I call it a joke 15, 5 and 15. It says that the tongue will tell upon their own self, right? Yeah. And the, um, in the Latin, or order of chaos is order of chaos, it's order of chaos. So they create that chaotic environment, and that's that's. And, that, and as you saying, that's that the, the time that we are about to head into Jacob's trouble, right? Is that they're gonna let it linger and then they're gonna come in with what? With with, with that remedy. Right? right? What the scripture said, the just shall live by faith. You're gonna have faith in your house, but you shelter what? The food, the water and everything that we need, the shelter, the protection from the elements, even from what? Even from the um the creatures, because the most high of these creatures there to what? To what? To to bring judgment. Right, because it's the Lord's purpose to destroy wickedness of the land. Right? Um peace and fear fear. Go ahead. Revelation nineteen verse twenty. And the beast was taken with him and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. Uh. So I'll stop here. He said he deceived them to receive the mark of the beast. All right, and one of the means of deceiving people to take the mark of the beast is um, problem reaction solution, causing a problem. All right, and then they're gonna have the reaction of the people. The people are gonna be all frantic. All right, and then you come up with the solution. The solution is implementing the RFID chip. Saying, hey, if you want, if you want help, if you want to come in the shelters where you could get, where you could be dry, warm. You can have water, you can have food, you have to take this microchip. And a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, I ran, look for article to Senebra. Alright, you can probably pull it up. A couple of years ago, it had this, um, in Venezuela, it had some called the Papa Chip. Alright, which they implemented so that people could take food in Venezuela, which basically was the microchip. Yeah. They try to implement it here on any previous um, installment of the government, the um, social the social card uh, for uh, for the, for the the old the the, the old age pension and um, for food the food card government has said food food card which I implemented right here. Yeah. Um, I just want to bring this piece up, Baba Kusha. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 15 and 16. But it is not, but it is not, um, 
but it is not possible to escape thine hand for the ungodly that deny to know thee which were, were scourged by the strength of thine arm with strange rains, hills, and showers were they persecuted that they could not avoid and through fire would they consume. You see? So at, at the end, I mean at the end the judgment gonna come through the fire. But all this leading up to it, this is this is this is this is the prophecy, you know. So it says what strange rains and hills. So so I mean we it's not strange to us because we you know we know is where it's coming from. It's judgment from Yahweh but Shimia Shai. Even if the most high is using our it to come at the hands of uh, Esau, he's using Esau for it to come at their hand by using the, the rain making machine. So um, I will share the screen again to show the video that yeah, you just shared with me. Right, the rain making machine. So it's not a myth. It's not a conspiracy. I don't know if a conspiracy is the what? It's the it's con is with spire, right? To to to, to, to act with, right? I think probably going to them would mean that. Long video, so I'm gonna uh, skip two. So you see, it's quite possible. It's quite possible. Well, he's sort of make clouds, right? There was a video by um. One of the hosts up top here, right? And he um he 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 showed that um the fuel for the for the for the rockets that they sent up in space, NASA sent up in space was hydrogen was hydrogen and and when it um it would make plenty um rain clouds, right? It would make rain clouds, so it's possible. It was a phenomenon that um they, they caught up. On, right? As I said, um, this is all through the spirit. That the brothers was able to um, observe and see what um what was going on here. Right, yeah. Turn. So this was yesterday. Turn. This was yesterday. I'm not gonna scroll down to the end. Yes, um, yesterday we had the seventh week in a week. We had a seven earthquake in a week. Now the, now the half is a weather modifying device. Not only rain, but it can it, it, it can cause earthquakes. Right? The half machine it can cause earthquakes. Now watch where it is. It's Kur Karupuna or Karupun Karupano Karupano. Right? This is the area where the earthquake was yesterday. Right? Yesterday being the 26th, oh, they said it was what, the seventh earthquake, a magnitude 3.8 earthquake has struck off the coast of Venezuela near Trinidad and Tobago's capital, Port of Spain. The quake, the sixth to strike near the Twin Island state in the past week, occurred around 9.57 at local time. According to the University of the West Indies Seismic Search Center, SR, SRC, Automatic earthquake location system, the magnitude 3.8 quake struck 71 kilometers southeast of Parupun Pano, Venezuela, 97 kilometers northeast of the of Maturin, Venezuela, 126 kilometers west southwest of Port of Spain, Trinidad. Quake was located at what? 1044, 144 north. Longitude and 62-63 west at a depth of 10 kilometers. 
the University of the Western New Seismic Research Center said, however, that the event was auto automatically located by the seismological computational system and has not yet been reviewed by analysts. 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 Selected. Right? Um, but watch this. This is this is um this is this was um closer to the beginning of the week last week. It says for this week here, Caribbean territories rocked by two quakes in an hour. And this was where this was around um Grenada and St. Vincent. Right? Then there was a two more quakes, five point one and four point two quakes rocked Trinidad on Monday night, right? Getting closer. Right? The fifth quake was recorded near um Trinidad in the past week was was was, was closed, was it was just behind. And then the present quake. So they're coming down yesterday. Line. They're coming down. And then yesterday was what close to the shore, 71 kilometers away from the shore. Because our, our um I sent you the video. And if you take a look at it, they were saying that um that video was from August. Said the, huh. the Venezuelan earthquake was caused by HAP. And it was huh. it was um like triangulation from transmit from transmit um transmitters, I believe was from Puerto Rico and Brazil and I can't remember what other country and Venezuela was right in the middle of that triangulation. So it's like a it's like a big radius. But they're trying to find the exact exact point within that radius, within within the uh, triangulation. Yeah. All right. So that is that is the reason that is the like, reason why you know they 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 coming down. Like they who like, in, in that area, they're trying to find the right spot. Uh, uh, like they're like trying to tune in. Can can can. That is what they're doing. Somebody can speak in the meantime. I'll pull up that next video there that they sent. That they just speak about. Yeah, I have a precept here. This is Second Ezra <clears throat> chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou shalt see part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that we most I doing right now, the most I visiting the world. The scripture said, O Assyrian, the rod in thy hand is my indignation. Okay. All right? The, the nuclear missiles, they, they made for indignation. But the most is the one who made it. The okay. most I gave, gave the word. All right? And okay. Esau made it. The harp, he saw me, but the most has the one who gave him the technology to make it. All right? So the most high visiting the world right now. All right? Um, and guess what? My wife, my wife actually told me that she got a dream that, um, well, here in Trinidad, it have a pack of biscuit. And the price right now is $9 for it. And she said that the vision that she had, they were selling it for $36, which is three times the price. And all the shelves were empty. And whatever it had made, let's say like from that said pack of biscuits, they would take it out of the pack and sell it in smaller packs. So it's like inflation. So it's like, let's say that the pack has 10 biscuits in it. I just, just said it has more than that, but just saying if it has... 10 or 12, let's say it has 12 biscuits in it, what they would do, they would take out three and put it in a smaller pack, so then they would end up with four packs and probably sell it for a greater price. So inflation, inflation causes things like this. Huh. All right? So like uh, through the spirit, uh, I went to the grocery yesterday and I made an observation that they was taking peanut butter and putting it in them trays and, 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 and thing wrapping it and selling it over, you know? So yeah. that's basically what you're now talking about. They're doing that. They're already doing that in the groceries. Can can can. You understand? 
So inflation come hey great great famine coming. Uh. These are the these are the times. These are the times that this that the ancient prophets spoke about. And we here right now prophesying in their stead. So we are the end. We are the end of this world. We are the end of Esau's kingdom. Uh. Alright? Going on. Verse um three. It says, therefore, when thou shalt see earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and we see earthquakes and uproars of the people, all right, then thou shalt understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, all right? And yeah. the Most High speak of, of these times, and we in these times, we in those times right now, the Most High bring in the end of Esau's kingdom. Yeah. Didn't the scripture said dust with violence? Oh. Yeah. Most yeah. I bring in the end. So the violence yeah, can happen uh... from, from nation against nation and even these other countries where the scripture said they shall hate the whole. They're gonna burn how it fire. Yeah. Even these uh even these these uh different tsunami and uh or quake or key and a storm, it's a it's a it's a destabilizing, destabilizing economy too. We understand it's bringing the famine too. We got the flood. These flood and these different hurricanes are going to do great damage to, 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 the, to the economy. A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of things are going to be damaged to these people, the, 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 the appliance, you know? You understand? Yeah. A lot of farmlands are going to be destroyed, right? So this they wouldn't do this destabilizing the economy right now. Can the farming gotta come, the dollar gotta collapse. You gotta get you gotta get you gotta you gotta get um you gotta get chaos. So we as as I said earlier, chaos, chaos out the harder. So we get a chaos, you can come with the microchip. Can. 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 I've um quick precepts. This is Sarok chapter 13, verse 13. Observe and take good heed, for thou walkest in the peril of thy overthrowing, when thou hearest these things awake in thy sleep. Because we in that time, we in that time it made manifest, as it said in Sarok chapter 9. Right? Second is chapter 9. You know, the end is manifest. And how is manifest by what these these plagues coming upon the planet Earth. But um Jemes will inform but um Kwashan Babi, that says what? Um, of people, billions of dollars in damage. You understand? And this is what happened. It's your kingdom is being destroyed. Right? Billions of dollars in damage and the dollars, the dollars in wood, nothing. Right? So it's going to just put countries in more debt. Venezuela going to be in more debt. Trinidad is going to be in more debt. You understand? Because how are you going to recover? How are you going to recover from this? How are you going to pay back the debt? News prior to this, Trinidad had what? But we have, uh, we had, uh, we had this, the, the prime minister, the government trying to say they're selling, um, the oil refinery. And because the oil, the oil refinery is, 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 is bringing more debt, right? They had to borrow to, 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 to keep the refinery going and the refinery not bringing in, um, uh, 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 how to say a profit is, is, is constantly running at a, at a deficit. And the money that they were trying to save by, by selling the refinery, now you have to spend it back on the people. So waiting on going, they might have to borrow, but guess guess what? Your, your prime minister is saying what? We're not receiving any aid from outside. We go handle it. And it's been pro because if you get the aid and it comes in in food and goods, right? That's what people need: food and goods and appliances to refurbish their house. But guess what? You all have an ulterior motive, making people suffer, yeah. right? Who because you could, have, you could have, you could have get the aid, give the people what they need, right? And, and save the money, but these people, these people, the, the rulers are the people, they're wicked, right? And they're all being exposed through the spirit, right? The brother um, on the coming board said Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing that, that the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep, can't, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yeah, and the elect going to be saved out of the hell that is about to happen, right? Because nevertheless, if somebody's going to have to pay some. There, there, there is a means to the end, and this is end being manifest. The end is here, right? The Most High is toppling this kingdom. The Most High's his purpose, his heart's desire is to topple the kingdom, topple Esau's kingdom. Ah, ah. Go ahead. But, but, yeah, go ahead. Ah. You remember 
the incident with Dominica. Yeah. That um, Rowley wanted to open up Trinidad doors for um, Dom- Dominica residents. Yeah, and everybody who had the home. Yeah, take up right, the... and, and people were saying that would destabilize the country, right? Yeah. No, he keep letting nationals in um, from other countries in. Yeah. All right? No, as I said, he's not trying to take any help because why? That is actually spending out the resources that Trinidad have. With, they already said we, we hardly have. And when they, when they spend it, or when they give away all that money and not take help, Guess what? As you said, that destabilizing the economy. So that is actually actually seeing the, the plan. Huh? And he's, the, hey, his whole government is pro, arrogant and pro. So hey, when they watch him and they give these speeches and they and they have the plan, then and and the other month about the plan, they say, hey we, hey, we don't regret doing this and we don't regret doing that. How you expect this and that? You know, the scriptures say not to trust the enemy. They are the enemy because they are the puppets of the of the elites. They are clear and hey, they, the government is a clear and present nation. Um, danger and just stay away from them right not hey no doubt they probably know the purpose of the uh the u.s the u.s navy the u.s know what what this whole thing is about right this is um so rock sorry second ezra chapter 16 verse 37 behold the plagues draw nigh and are not slack right so this is just the beginning of sorrows as they say in um uh, march 24 right right, right. right. This is just the beginning of sorrows. Hey, the plagues come in. They come in. So I want to I want to put uh, some pictures that Makaza was able to come across. I have a video here to Makaza. You uh, um, if you want to play a part of it, I have a priest. I can read some before you went. Go ahead. I got one. I come after one. Okay. It's short because mine mine have three verses. If you're short, you could go ahead. No, no I, I want to touch on the the start about the um, you know. You know, these jigs, Rowley is them, you know, out of proud. Uh, the vision when the woman get the voice of God said, the seven, 70 disaster hit, you know, the, the, the hurricane, you know, the earthquake, you know, when it hit, and the people was, you know, losing a job, you know, these company closing down, and jigs just killing one another. Said the government, the company the television, they didn't, they didn't know what to say. You understand? They didn't know what to say. Right? So this 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 thing this this thing gonna hit and all these leaders, these so called leaders who claim them as doctors and they got doctorate, hey, they're gonna be shaped. You understand? They're gonna be shaped because this is the most side moving, the most side destroying this place, and the most I use the evil kingdom. The so called white people are a bunch of idiots. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, why right on this it's I got two two precepts. I'll come after you, you know, so let's come after you. All right. Well you you actually kinda did my introduction. So I'll just read based off of what you just said. Right. So they said they're gonna be ashamed, right? This is Isaiah chapter nineteen, verse eleven. Surely the princes of Zoan are fools. Right. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh is become brutish. How right. say ye unto oh, Pharaoh? Unto Pharaoh. I, am I am the son of the son wise. Of the wise. The son of ancient of king. Ancient king. Mm-hmm. Where are Where? they? Where are thy wise men? And let them tell thee now, and let them know what Yahweh Hashem Yahshev host had purpose upon Egypt. The princes of Zoan are become fools. The princes of North are deceived. Uh. They are also they, they have also seduced Egypt. Even they that are the state of the tribes thereof. You understand? So these government, they are the state of the tribes. They are the support of the tribes, but they become foolish because right. they, 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 they destabilize in the economy. All right? So that the so that this microchip could be implemented so that they could bring about the Agenda 21. All right? The right. so-called One World Order. Right. All right? But guess what? They're killing out their own people. And as as the brother said, they're gonna be they're gonna they they ain't gonna have nothing to say. They're gonna be ashamed. Hmm. Okay. A, a quick one off the top board, but I, um, well, Pasha from Barbados. Um, Ecclesiastes twelve and one. Remember now, thy Creator in the days of thy youth. It says, uh-huh. while the evil days come not, nor the the years draw nigh, 
when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Huh. Right now, Jake in a more in a more spirit. Because when them evil day come, when you got no food to eat, when you see you see your daughter and your son ribs, you understand? You see people dying from hunger, they can't move. You see people, you see dead body all over the place. You understand that kind of pestilence? You are not gonna have no desire in them days. Let me see days that come in. And when you see when you see these um, foreign troops on your land, you know, putting you out to death to put in your in female camp. You are not gonna desire them days. Let me see days that come in. Right? I just thought to say quick. This is Ezekiel 725. The destruction cometh, peace, and there shall be none. Okay. Well, right now, that right now, what was it? Uh, this is Ezekiel, um, Ezekiel 7 and 25. It said, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Can you can, can read 5 and 6 too? Can couldn't mm -hmm. do it to destabilize the economy, all these different uh, weather, rain, flooding. Or quake, tsunami, you name it, the destabilizing the economy. Right? Hey, the new scripture says, This is the who, who make can. himself like God. Can. You understand? He's trying to control the weather. Can. Yeah, he programmed the most I program him. Right? Can. Let me get the program him. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 21 and uh, 1. Proverbs 21 and 1, he said, The king's heart. Is in the hands of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yes, so all these kings of the earth, you know, uh, Father Reputin, Dalla Trump, uh, uh, you name it, all these presidents, all these president prime ministers on, on, on the face of the earth, the most I control each and every one of them. Most I control your spirit. So you're doing, you're doing everything that the most I want you to do. So don't, don't, be, don't, don't, don't feel. Can. Let's read it here, Proverbs 21. Twenty-one. Are you president and prime minister? Sophie, you're proud. No, you program. You're doing exactly what the heavenly father wants you to do. This is Proverbs twenty-one and one. He said, "The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem as the as the rivers of run of waters. He turned it, whether so ever he will. So you are doing the most I will, right? You are doing the most I will." Most are getting ready to destroy this place. This, this is the end of this aeon. This is the end of this wicked rulership. Right? Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus said the Lord Yahweh of Hashem Yahshai power. He said, An evil, and only evil, behold, is come. Right? And the evil, them evil come in. You know, their flood is evil because the word evil go back to what distress and misery, sorrow, bad times. Them, them is what come in sorrow and distress. Right? He said, and he said, an end is come, the end is come, it watches for thee, behold it is come. And this will be seen the end. Uh, this is Psalms fifty four verse three. For the strain for strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul, they have not set the how before them. So the scripture say that um he saw the either might is our food. So he said uh, the fool said in his heart that there is no God. And he and also in Thessalonians, um, it says what? They sit in the tune as though they are God. Nobody most are gonna humble them and show them that they just man. Right? Jumping down to Psalm 65, starting at one. It says, Give ear to my prayer, O Yahweh, and hide not thyself from thy from my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise. Because of the voice of thy enemy, because of the oppressor of the wicked. It says, For they have cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is, is so pain within me, and the terrors of death are falling upon me. And the terrors of death is going to increase because the scripture talk about the time of Jacob's struggle. Right? Man. When we go into it, we're going to see because the, the purpose is what? It's a topple Venezuela. Right? They, they're already defaming. If you hear Trump, he's defaming um, um, Maduro, right? But Maduro is trying to seek after his people. I'm not trying to, I'm not a politician. I'm not trying to justify nobody, right? 
it's really, really, it's from, he's probably seeking after the best interest of his people, but the Americans, the, the, the Edomites, right, they're making it impossible by the different sanctions and treaties they have against them, right? And when they decide to take their business elsewhere, which is the oil, because they're, they're rich in oil, they're rich in gold and other natural resources, they're taking it elsewhere, right? And other markets, but the, 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 the Edomites, the Americans, they what? They, 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 they're trying to topple them to go in to take what they, what they could take, right? There's a purpose. We're not, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. And one of the devices is what the weather modification machine, right? It says, For my heart was full, Psalm 55 and 4, For my heart is so pain within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horror had overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for they would, for then would I fly away and be at rest. And now wings like a dove is what the chariots, right? right? You want to be driven by the chariots. The scriptures to, uh, say, On another wings shall thou trust as the chariots, right? We're going to be taken up and we're going to be saved from what the, the ICBMs are about to hit, which is going to bring forth the destruction of America, which is Babylon the Great, right? And the kingdom of the Edomites. It says, Lo, then I would wander far off and remain in the wilderness. I would be, I would hasten my escape from the wind, from the windy storm and tempest. And that what the scripture is saying that we should be hastening the day, right? Because great evils, great perils. The, the Lord said, unless He come, or you say, how shall I come? Right? There will be no flesh to be saved because of this devil. This devil, hey, he's not upright within himself. He's wicked. This kingdom is wicked. There's nothing to uphold here, right? It says, yeah. uh. For my said this, as I said, his spirit not upright. Now, when something upright is standing on two feet, all right. Now, where's the opposite of standing on two feet? Standing on all fours. Uh. So he saw is a he saw is a beast. He's a brute beast. Yeah, come because when a bear when a bear crawling, he's on fours or walking here on fours. But when he fight, he stand up. He's get upright and be on two. Huh? Come, come. It says. Um, so he saw that is a is a beast, is a brute beast, a brute beast. Can Psalm 55 and 9 destroy O Yahweh and divide their tongues? For I have seen violence and strife in the city day and night, they go about it upon the, the walls thereof, mischief also and sorrow are in the midst of it, wickedness in the midst thereof, deceit and guile depart not from her streets. Right? And this is what we're seeing. All this is what we're seeing. And all this is because of what the so-called white man. And his and his his poison and his philosophy, his, his poison is his philosophy. His democracy, his homosexuality, his um lesbianism, his um video fit uh to be pedophiles, feminism, all these different things. That's right? part of his poison. All all that is really wickedness and the violence upon the land. Right? Because if, if you want to reach Lord Long, David is going to be talking about goes to he said, for it was not an enemy that reproached me that I could have borne it. Neither was was it uh, him that hated me that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. Because this is when um, Saul was persecuting David. Right? So guess what? We have, a, we have a prime minister, for example, in Trinidad. Just for example. Because, I mean, we, we all take the prophecy to the nation of Israel. We are Israelites. In a in a in a in a strange country, right? We like strangers in a strange land, right? On our on our, our the lead, the scripture said the leaders are the people cause it to air, right? The prime minister is what a jake. And he hates his own people. He hates himself and he hates his own people because he's caused if he if he's in the know of the, the, the US um what what is the purpose and he's for example holding back and back helping his people to go forward their their ultimate plan to go forward that is wickedness right <laughs> all that is because of hey, so like, yeah. so like, uh, they exactly do i remember these, these elite banking family they 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 train they train the dogs you, know? uh, you understand uh, you know they know they know they know the agenda they're on hey keep these people in this way keep them keep them in this in this in this confusion I give democracy, I give power. I push democracy. You know, you allow homosexuality, you allow lesbianism, you allow um, 
um, these different ab abortion facility in, in, in your land. You do all these things, we can give you power. So they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing, but what? It's all about money for them. You understand? Because something to back your back. What they do doing, what they do doing, though, is that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to judge them. I could, I could read two precepts for you. Hmm. So back you up. Yeah. This is Hosea chapter 8 verse 4. They have set up kings, but not by me. They have made princes, and I hmm. knew it not. All right? And these princes they set up, they set up them by the council of the Mosai. They set them up to serve their own purpose. All right? Hmm. And as I said, they, they are under that agenda because why Esau is the one who rules in these nations. And it's the reason... As they say, they're pushing homosexuality. They're pushing right. for the, um, destabilizing the dollar to bring in the cashless society. All these nations doing it at the same time because why? It's under one orchestration. Mm. Right? This is um, Jeremiah 28 verse 14. For thus saith Yahweh Hashem Yahshua of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the necks of all these nations that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and they shall serve him. Right? And that is what the Mosai do. The Mosai made all these nations to serve the king of Babylon, beginning with the Rothschilds. Alright? Yeah. That is why I see all these nations coming about with the cashless society, pushing this homosexual agenda. Because why? Because that is the agenda of the Rothschilds. The elite, the, the elite bankers. Right? Huh. This one an earthquake. It's definitely an American attack. It's an American weapons attack. Because America has earthquake weapons. So, so is Israel, so is China, so Russia. Like, yeah, this is the video that he was talking about the sent. God. The British, French. They use that. They use that to attack the Venezuelan. To make them weaker and weaker. Oh, so like, I forget. Um, sorry, I don't. I put it up on the screen. I don't put it back. So like, yeah. I'm having one. This one an earthquake. It's definitely. An American attack. It's an American weapons attack. Because America has earthquake weapons. And so does Israel, so does China, Russia, the British, French. They use that. They use that to attack the Venezuelans, to make them weaker and weaker. They've been uh, having one Weakness attack after the other. They tried to kill President Maduro. They've been trying to um, uh, uh, bring in troops throughout the border and do uh, random killings of Venezuelan citizens. They're testing missiles off the coast of Venezuela, off the coast of Colombia. The Colombians and the Americans and the Israelis are testing missiles. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did. They, they, they sent this earthquake up, and all they have to do we're in the heart machine. And it's not just the heart machine, but then you have Arecibo. You got Arecibo down in Puerto Rico, which is close, very close to, to Venezuela. And all you've got to do is run Arecibo. To um, set up 7.3 magnitude earthquakes. Right, so, okay, so you see, um, the okay. video is by our pastor, Cliff Kinnick. Right, so you mean you could, you could um, check it out as much as I was saying, it's all triggered, it's triangulated, right? The, the, um, the narrator of the video is saying that he, he identified that America, Russia, Israel, and uh, I think um, Iran, I'm not too sure, I can't remember, but he says some of the, those are the countries that have the heart. Right? So you can um, go into depth. There's plenty of information. So we can't go through all in depth. Um, yeah, the LMR, you don't mind too. 
Uh. Russia, Israel, America, they are the might. And the power was given to them. Uh. God is given to them of the wicked. Hey, that's why the Lord say he's going to destroy them that destroy the earth. Uh, all in the one too. <laughs> hey, when you look at the word destroy, it means corrupt. And they're corrupting yeah. the earth too. Can. The corrupting the earth. You mentioned the earlier about Dominica. Yeah. You mentioned earlier about Dominica. Dominica economy done, done, done destabilize. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico economy done, done, done destabilize. Um, Bermuda, the economy done, done destabilize. With, with them, with them, um, hurricane that la, last year. Um, um, this place, Indonesia, um, Guatemala, with the, with the volcanoes and these things. These economy being dis destabilized. You yes. understand? If you remember, I, I, bro, I know if you could remember, I said that I believe they might be using these national, natural disasters, so-called natural disasters to destabilize the economies. Yeah, that was in the, uh, that was um, pre-talks to this video. I mean, yesterday or the day before we was talking that when we when this is when the spirit said to bring it out that something was happening. We was observing, everybody was observing in their own room and they were saying that, you know, it's like I believe that the most high is using these these using them to 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 what to what to save our lives. I remember clearly yeah. said that to the spirit. Oh, by the way, I get shout outs and um blessings to um brother Elder Malak at a game camp in New York and Elder um, Abad Badia, our bigger brothers, he out in Atlanta because they were um, two brothers that uh, even pushed me towards doing this video, bringing all this information because through the spirit, I was observing, I was, I was reporting it to them because as, as Elder um, Abad Badia was saying is that, you know, if it wasn't for the reporting, the they do the brothers outside, the you know, the elders and all those who looking looking over the church. They wouldn't know what's going on. They wouldn't have known about the flood until what probably Nick, Nicki Minaj put it and they make the news. She put it up on her Instagram and thing and they would have made the news, but they wouldn't know because it's not been publicized, right? They wouldn't know. This information won't come out unless it, that's the end. That's, that's the purpose of the prophets, right? To prophesy, to, to tell, to speak, and the the, 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 uh, the precept the that. Yeah, the watchmen. watchmen. Ah, God. I said he said watchmen upon thy towers. Yeah, that will never um keep hold see, their peace. They will never hey, hold And when you look up when you look up hold their peace, it means to keep, to keep silent or be inactive. God. Right? But, but if I might say this act, now look at the magnitude of the, the disaster that happened in Venezuela. It had deaths. All right, many infrastructures were destroyed, but this not being publicized on the media uh. because they don't want their agenda to be highlighted. Uh. Speaking about the least, they don't want their agenda to be highlighted. They must never look bad. Can. Right, so um, this is some of the pictures of what actually went on. You know, we, we would have seen all what went on in Trinidad, right? But this is what went on in Venezuela. They 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 be bringing out bodies. Look at that. That is bodies. They are uncovering from the floods. See? I'll read something for you when you finish. If you go ahead, okay, you can read over his pictures. Then right, this is um This is Amos chapter four. This is Amos chapter 4 verse 7. It says, And I also have with, um, withholden the rain from you when there were yet three months to the harvest and I caused it to rain upon one city and caused it to rain upon another city. One place was rain upon and the peace where upon it rained not withered. So two or three cities wandered into one city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. Yet have ye not returned unto me, said Yahba Hashem Yahashai. And guess what? All this can lead to famine. Because all yeah. that rain that was sent, all that destruction could destroy livestock. It could destroy the famine. All right? It could even destroy buildings like supermarkets, wherever the case is. And it could 
contaminate the water. Hey, right here in Trinidad, it have a well, bra. You might have more insight on it. It have like yeah. places that yeah, are not getting water. I mean, yesterday on the news they said um the the back up to full water um full water production. But the reason why they couldn't produce water over the days because what the the dams and the rivers and the inlets, they are, the water was too bit too bit means that as like, for example, you take a glass and you put full of water and you put mud in it and it's yeah. a spin it up, spin it and, and make it all all um cloudy or dirty and murky, right? There's too bit water, right? So you had to, you, had, you would have to give it some time to settle. So the, the rains, what we had, we had, and um, there's a next, a next fact that we didn't bring up. The rains that we had, I think they said it was like a one month or three months raining, or one month rain in like three days or four days. That's the type of rain that we had. One month rain, the, 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 the levels, how much meters are rain? We had in like three or four days, right? One month or three. It was a high velocity or count of rain, a high amount of rain, right? So even the dams, they had video showing the dam overflowing, the Navet dam overflowing. So the waters there would have been churned up. They had to let it settle, so they couldn't pump water for a while. So even the water that being pumped, like you tell me, they are. Um, I really don't know where they have the fire hydrant gets its water from, but that water that was pumped, I personally had to get the. Um, the, 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 the water company was sending uh, trucks. They could have called them and they would have sent water trucks to fill their tanks. And they were filling my tank and the water was looking like the flood water. You know? So it's like most likely it's like the, the, the fire hydrants because even uh, even though you wouldn't have water, pipe one water or portable water supplied to your house, your domestic or residential or commercial buildings because they, they would say that that water is um, has kind of be treated because it's too turbid. What they would do, they would probably pump the, the water from the dam straight to the um, fire hydrant. And that is what they was using to fill people's tanks. And that water was very turbid. That, that water was like, like, like the flood water itself. It was brown. Right? So it would take and, time. And, that, and that, could bring, that could bring famine. That could bring, that could bring disease. Pestilence. Because you, 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 you can't drink the water. You can't drink that water. Right? If you had to treat it, you might have to, um, you might have to, when, within, within your own realm, take it, put it, to, leave it in a bucket to settle, then scoop off from the top and then put um, chlorine bleach in it, uh, a certain amount, because I think it's like a cap full per gallon or something like that. I could do let, something let, like that. I work. Go ahead. No, it said that that could bring disease, right? Huh. No, disease, disease fall on the pestilence. Huh. Now, guess what? Think about somebody who haven't drunk water for two days. They gonna they gonna they gonna drink that same murky water. Head first, they in it. They gonna they gonna drink that water. And guess what? That could actually help to spread this most I said he's gonna bring pestilence. Huh. Right? Um, I could read let me read something here for you. This is um second Ezra chapter fifteen verse ten. It says Behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and I will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall and... have mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. And the most I bring in, bring in that punishment. All these things they see is the most I judge in the world for for their wickedness. Mm. All right? But but his elect, his chosen, all right, they're gonna be saved. So we hoping that we part of that number so we can be delivered. All right? Done. Go ahead. Um, on here for you. Right, go ahead. Uh second is just um sixteen of us, eighteen. He said, the beginning of sorrow and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. Yeah, the powers is these, these, these so-called president and prime ministers. They're going to stand in fear. He said, the beginning of evil, what shall I do when this evil shall come? Behold, famine and plagues. Yeah, because... 
Sei lá, que é these powers, they, 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 they're gonna, these powers, they're so kind, they're gonna bow down to America. Because America, they know that America is the ones who causing this. Right? So they're gonna right. bow down. That's not in fear. They're gonna submit this up, and they're gonna cause the people, that's why they're gonna cause the people to take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Right? Because they're gonna be afraid of America, but there's a power higher than America, and his name is Yahaoba, or their names are Yahaoba, Shimi Yahu Shai. Right. You understand? So they can't be ignorant of that fact. Because the prophets are here to tell you that. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai says, but put your trust in him. Trust not in man. Right? Go ahead, Ab. It's um, right. second hey. Ezra 16 and 19. Hey, and I just said that. Go ahead, Ab. I'll, I'll read after and I'll, I'll, I'll just say something off of what I just said. Go ahead. You go ahead, Ab. All right. There's um, second Ezra 16 and 19. Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are said as a scourge for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor always be mindful of the scourge. Done. Can they even answer? Most of them send them plagues, all them disease. And he said, for all them dead. Can. And they say for all this, they ain't gonna turn from the wickedness. Yeah. Because hey, these are the beginning of sorrows that we've seen people still continuing to be wicked. Right? There's um Isaiah chapter 36, verse 5. I say, sayest thou, but they are but vain words. I have counsel and strength of war. But um now on whom does thou trust that thou rebellest against me? Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed. On Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh the king of Egypt unto all that trust in him. So the Lord called Pharaoh a broken reed. Called Egypt a broken reed. Right now, he saw system crumbling. But yet people putting their trust in it, as I said, they're putting their trust in flesh and not in the most side. All right? And they're going to back, they're going to stab them in the hand. All right, they're gonna get caught in concentration camps and they're gonna be put to death because they put a trust in fear and not in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the God of uh, Israel. Uh, yeah, go and touch back. Um, I'm gonna touch back some of the video or some some um, other information. Right, because we talk about the plagues, and part of the plagues is what? These creatures that the Most High had um, prepared, prepares for judgment. Right? The Most High prepared certain creatures and certain spirits for judgment. Right? So this is um, snakes versus people in the flood. Let me, let me go to the video first. I'm going to have a read it. I'm going to hear it. It's like, yeah. There's um, a 10 foot green anaconda. Seen sliding across flooded road in Carney as eluded conservationists. An official from um, Superintendent said the members of the team were hampered in retrieving the reptile due to the police roadblocks along the highway near Carney. The floodwaters continue to rise on parts of Trinidad and many wildlife conservation groups are called out to rescue the animals trapped in floodwaters. Right? There's manager of the superintendent, Saeed um, Ali, if I pronounce the name right, said he has received dozens of phone calls for animal rescue. However, major challenges has been getting to flood areas. Ali said most of the calls came from Colombian village. Right, so what had happened here was, I don't know, I, I don't know if I'll get it in this article, is that there was this big snake. Right, there was this big ass snake. Mm. This, is the video with, this is the video with the snake. The beginning, yeah, it's a and the anaconda that is sold 10 foot, right? They end up, they end up catching the snake. It was 18 feet, yeah. 18 feet when they measure it, I can't remember how much, how much pounds or how much kilograms it was. It was a big ass anaconda. And what the what the, the UE University of the West Indies, um, zoo, zoo, or zoo, or logical society found is that it was a nest they actually have a nest they actually have a nest right so they, ha they have a, a there's a colony of anacondas in trinidad 
right? They also what? They also what? We had Caymans. And what somebody was saying is that they, uh, they, they, brought, uh, they brought the difference between the caiman and the crocodile. I saw some pictures with the, U, the U-shaped head. Not the crocodile and the alligator, sorry. The U-shaped head and the V-shaped head of the crocodile. And then the U-shaped head of the alligator. And, and I think a cousin of them both is the caiman. But this is a very, this is a huge one. This is one of the biggest ones that I saw. Um, and this is not a video. But this was trying to get them people here. And, and some people, all right, there's a video right here. It had one, it had one that, that actually came was actually, actually in someone's house. house. Yeah, can So, look at yeah, just real quick. Size of that. What is that? What is <laughs> right, so this is what happened here, right? And uh, as I said, it had, there, there was one that gets into the head, um, not the head, but the um, the house, right? So you watch our video. So I can come back to the um, I came here to bring on some scriptures concerning that too. Oh, uh, yeah, we got the Mosai. Mosai promised the fall of the air, the peace of the field of feasts. Uh, this and is our... Uh, Jeremiah chapter 15. And I will appoint over them four kinds, say the Lord, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. See? So all, all these things, are they're going to work towards the benefit of the Abba Shem Yahushai. Right? Remember, Yahweh Shimei Oshai said, well, two-thirds, his book was two-thirds of all people must be destroyed alongside with the key then. Right? Anybody have anything else? I'm looking for something, but you can talk. Oh, okay, I'm looking for a scripture too. <laughs> Right, most likely bring the fear in the land. At least these 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 Israelite these days are like don't, don't fear the most side. These two tall, they don't fear the most side. You know? Everything is everything is a party and a and a and a, and a, and a laugh for them. You know? No fear anymore, say. I'll read this. I have a comment board <laughs> one on one from Brother Arm. From Yakima Gemma's foolishness of pre- preaching. Isaiah said one and one. It says, um, one to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look unto the holy but they look look not unto the holy one of Israel, neither seek Yahweh. Right? I guess I was going back to when um because I was speaking about the government, right? And putting the trust in Egypt. Because basically they're going to fulfill the purpose of, of, the, of, of, of the enemy. Right? And the scripture says, never trust that enemy. Because that iron um, rust and so is their wickedness. You know, because their purpose is, what, is, is, is that their houses shall endure forever by any means. Right? They will, they, hey, they're wicked to their own self just to keep power. Right? The scripture says, if, they, if, if they're not going to do good to their own self, who, who, will, who will they do good unto? So they're destroying anything. The ones that can hold on to that power seat. But the most high the most high school for sister topple them. Right? Yeah, yeah, something yeah. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
और लोगों के भी रेस्पी Yeah, I can't find it. I can't find it, please, sir. Okay. Yeah, but it, but the scripture said the most I bring in them animals for judgment too. That's mm-hmm. why they leave in the habitation. All right. Huh. Leave in the habitation. Most I gonna bring them animals for judgment. All right. You gonna bring the the military? The scripture said they gonna come in like a flood, and all these disasters. But the most I, what he doing is like we tell Ezra's before, before the fire had the smoke, he had the spark, then he had the smoke, then he had the fire, and before the flood, he had the, the rain. So the most I, all these things that happen is, is what happening be, is the calm, is really the calm before the storm. All right, uh-huh. all these things that are happening right now is the calm before the storm. The most I warning Israel. And you, you, the funny thing is that when all these things happen, you would hear two thirds saying, "We in the last days. These are the last days." They would, they would, they can't prove it in the scriptures. But when they see these things happen, they would say, "Hey, we in the last days. These are the last days." But none of them will say, "No, well, let's turn to the Lord." All they will say, "The last days, and what will happen in the last days, and destruction will happen, and all sorts of things." They said all sorts of things will happen in the last days, but none of them will forsake their wickedness and and turn and serve the Most High. I'll read the scripture here real quick. This is Ezekiel. Ten. Ezekiel chapter thirty-three, verse eleven. Say unto them, As I live, saith Yahweh Shemuel Shai, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked turn from his wicked way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. Or why will ye die, O house of Israel? So the Most High said, Why, why you are to go through this? Just stop being wicked. Uh, All right. Uh, but is it hard for Israel to to do that? Most High put what is to be judged. I have a scripture here. This is um Sirach chapter 30, 39 and 29. Fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Right? The teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword. Punishing the wicked to their destruction. So I had a friend uh, whose wife was in... They were in one of the flood affected areas in Trinidad, right here, and he went to rescue them. So he's a service man. He went to rescue was one of the first responders, and when he went, he said a man walked up to him with four children in his hand. Right? The man said, "What? Oh, uh, can you help me assist these children and carry them out of the area?" He said, "All right, sure." So when he put them in the vehicle, he said, um, he asked them, he said, is anyone injured? He said, yes, I am. I am. He said, with what? He said, basically, he's saying that he, uh, he meant he's injured in his mind, he, to trauma. But besides that, he said, uh, and physical injuries. He said, boy, we get, we, we, we were bitten. He said, for what, mosquitoes? He said, mosquitoes, there are no mosquitoes here. He said, we get bitten from everything. They had snakes. He said, they were centipedes or millipedes. That was like foot long and, and stuff. He said what? Well, they was bitten by them. And the thing is, it was he said it wasn't it wasn't one. He said the amount of the, the multitude. So all these creatures they came out of the different holes that they were in. Right? They came out and they started to execute judgment of the Lord. Right? So what it says, it says the teeth of wild beasts, as we know from verse 29, Sirach chapter 39, verse 29. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. The teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to their destruction. You see? So this is this is this is it. 
And all these things, guess what? They still wouldn't do good. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 17. It says also, I read from verse 16. Thus said Yahweh Shemel Shai, stand in the ways and see, and ask for the old path, where is the good way, and walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Verse 17, also I set watchman over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. And that is what they're saying in their heart. They say, we, we, hey, we're not going to listen to, to what you have to say. But guess what? You're not listening, not doing us anything. It only bring in your debt. That's right. The scripture said you have not, you have not, <clears throat> let me see if I could find it. But uh, you can go by the time, um, Yahweh. This is, this is um this is the feast that the most I promised them this. This is Ezekiel 39 and 17. And thou son of man, thou thus thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai power, speak unto every fed of fowl, unto every beast of the field, assemble yourself and come, gather yourself on every side. To my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice upon the mountain of Israel. He said that he, that he may eat flesh and drink blood. He said, Yea, he said, He shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the prince of the earth and rams and lambs and of gold and of bullock, all of them. It's a fatling of Basha. Yes, yeah, so the most I, a lot, a lot of you gonna be eaten by these these beasts. You understand? Especially them lion and tiger that got in the zoo down in um Old Spain Day. Most I gonna lose them out. And they hungry. Yeah, yeah she... the most I, I wasn't there and I, I see them lions suffering then. Yeah. The stuff that vex my spirit. Yeah. Um, this is um, Jeremiah 29, sorry, Jeremiah 14 and 20. So this is the righteous. We acknowledge our, our power. We acknowledge Yahweh, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers. For we have sinned against thee. Do not abhor us for thy name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of thy glory. Remember, break not the covenant with us. Are there any among the vanities of the Gentiles that can cause rain? Or can heaven or, or can the heavens give showers? Has not thou he O Yahweh or power? Therefore we will wait upon thee, for thou hast made all these things. So even if even if the so called white man have a rain making machine. The most high Yahweh Shimei Hashem who gave him that power. Right? So we acknowledge that, that there's a power behind all this. And he is bringing forth judgment. This is Psalm 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Uh, no more exceedingly proudly. Let that arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord Yahweh is a power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. So hey, the weighing of the actions is what led to the destruction that has come upon the land. Because these people are ultimately being judged. There are people, there are, there are, uh, this Elamite woman crying, she needs everything. There was her own. Oh, she has a bag of people. A bag of what? A bag of what? A bag of, a bag of God. <laughs> <laughs> a bag of God, too. <laughs> yeah. There was, the, um, there was a, a couple highlights on the, on the, on the, on the, on the news. I think the man was 70, 77 and his wife was 79 and his wife was 77, something like that. There were some old people. But, um, and, you know, they, they say that they have to start over from fresh. How they going, how they going to do it? They don't know. They lose everything and they see the wife. They say they spend all this, they save it. So what? And they invest in their children, their daughter to, to go to what? College, university. And she was there 
hanging up all her, her, her daughter's degrees and certificates on the, on the line to dry out. You understand? And they say that's the investment, that's how they'll get it back through the, through the children's education. No, that's how you're going to die, right? Because the, 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 the way that this world... But, beg your pardon? Beg your pardon? I didn't hear you. Yeah, what I didn't hear you. No, I said the uniform thing is the biggest one, the biggest repair in the world. Ah, God. Yeah, because the script just said trust nothing, Going man. Going to school yeah, to be a bit. <laughs> I can I can read something here. Because they yeah, see that's how that is how they're gonna make it, right? Through the children, degrees, through the education, ah. right? That is how they will prosper. They say second Chronicles twenty four verse twenty. And the spirit of Yahweh came upon the son um, of Zechariah, the son of Jehoda, the priest, which stood before the people and said unto them, Thus said Yahweh, Why transgress ye the commandments of Yahweh that ye cannot prosper? Because ye have forsaken Yahweh, he shall also forsake you. So guess what? The most high will is make you prosper, not your education. The scripture said, don't boast in, in your knowledge. Uh -huh. But boast in the fact That's that right. you don't understand me, said the Most High. Uh -huh. So he's the one that calls you to prosper. Not education, not a diploma, not, not them certificates. They don't do nothing. Because right now, you have to get a degree to work KFC. Because uh -huh. plenty of the people working in these, in these fast food places have degrees. All right, they have degrees, so it's like you gotta get a degree to go and work here. Yeah. Hey, the garbage truck. Yeah. Yeah. What I was doing in Venezuela, um, in the beginning of the year, we read an article. We put out an article where they were saying that these women, were doctors, lawyers, teachers, nurses, yeah. what they were doing, they agree to the brothels to become hoes, harlots, right? Yeah. yeah. And Go ahead, uh. He agreed me to be what, under? So there was put under? Yes, From D.E. Gradus, means to bring low. Yeah. Marie, some. This is a... Uh, yeah, some. Okay. Yeah, some, but after you, go ahead. This is 2 Ezra chapter 1, verse 25. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. When ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I will have no mercy upon you. And... They're gonna desire the most high when the full blunt of Jacob trouble come. Because that is when the words that the prophets were speaking are gonna come back to their mind. Oh. But the most are not gonna hear them because the gates of repentance are gonna be closed. It says, Whensoever you shall call upon me, I will not hear you. For you have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. With 27 days he punch here. You have not, as it were, forsaken me. But your own self, said Yahweh. All right? So you in, you in forsake the Mosa, you forsake your own self. All right? You forsake your own self. All right? You bring that evil upon your own self. And the Mosa is going to destroy you for it. Uh, this is um, Sirach chapter 19, verse 19. It says, The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do the things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. The fear of Yahweh is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. Jumping down to verse 22, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Can. Right? There is a wickedness and the same an abomination and there is a fool wanting in wisdom. So all that degree, all that certification and whatever it may be, once it's not, it, I'm a fact, the most high never give out certificates. We have no reward. The only reward we're going to get is what, that one penny or is what, the entrance into the kingdom of heaven. And we're only going to know that when the chariots come and then Yahweh Shai is going to give us what, that crown. He's going to crown the right. elect. Right? This is what we go for, to be crowned. Right. To be given a province to rule over. Because this wisdom is going to equate onto something in the next time. Right? Um, do you have anything? Yeah, well, we can close off. 
No, go ahead. All right. Okay, Zah. Okay, Zah. You have anything, or you can close off. Um. I'm looking for something just now. Let me just I'm looking up something real quick. Huh. Um. This is um, um. Philippians chapter 3, verse 20. It says, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence we also look for our Savior, the Lord. I read something you can give you like that. All right. So, if as I, I said, we, we diplomacy, we diplomacy, we certificate it in heaven. Not here. Done. I want to look up the word conversation. It means administration of civil affairs or of a commonwealth. The constitution of a commonwealth from the government and laws by which it is ad- administered. A state, a commonwealth, a state of citizenship says like paper or paper works in heaven. Uh, right, all people work uh, here on it. What up? Uh, yeah, what up? Yeah, something. Of the um, Ezekiel seven and twenty six, he said, he said, mischief, mischief shall shall come upon mischief, and rumors shall be upon rumors. Then he said, then shall they seek the vision of the prophet. Uh, yeah, the they, right and now, they will hey, see the vision of the prophet. And that is why the scripture yeah. said, Then shall they know a prophet had been yeah. among them. Yeah. That is yeah. when they're going to see people. But guess what? We're going to be yeah. there pursuing to um, Amos 811. We're going to send a famine. Yeah. Yeah. So right now they're having a famine of bread and water, but soon they're going to send a famine of the world, which is a greater famine. Done. Right. Done. You can close off the bra. Alright. So with that we give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. By Hashem Rakha Kodash. Kodash. I will learn some apostles and our elders are great millstones. Salutations to the brothers are preachers and teachers, witness and serve and truth across the four corners of the planet Earth. Right. Peace and safety to you and your families. Uh, continue to fight that good fight. The race is not over until Yahushai comes with the chariot, the partnership. Right? Brethren, stay strong. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom to the elect. To the elect.